sweet treats and a taste of history. As we continue to celebrate Black History Month, WGN's Gaynor Hall takes us to a Bronzeville building where black businesses and residents have thrived. Homemade ice cream, cobblers, cakes at the corner of 47th and Wabash, Sean Michelle's is serving up sweet nostalgia. Yeah, I love ice cream. I literally love homemade ice cream. Yaya Muhammad started experimenting with recipes in grad school for a time selling ice cream from the trunk of his car. I like to call it a journey of faith. <laughs> Literally, because I had a vision of what we have today before we actually had the opportunity to come here. The now retired police officer and his wife, Nataki, opened this location in the Rosenwald courts in 2019. One, two, three. Part of a new chapter for the Bronzeville building with a storied past. stand on the shoulders of those who have paved the way for us. You're talking about the Rosenwald building. You know, you can go down a list of those who are icons, just icons, <laughs> that lived here in the Rosenwald building. Quincy Jones, Marla Gibbs, Jesse Owens, Ralph Metcalf, Lorian Hansberry. Gwendolyn Brooks lived there for a time. Joe Lewis lived there for a time. Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, men have named you. And Nat King Cole, John H. Johnson, just to name a few. It was unbelievable. It was a world in itself. 91-year-old Gwendolyn Johnson lived in the building from 1932 to 1938. So on hot nights, you could walk around the roof. And if we had been good girls, my mother would get us ice cream and we'd go and sit up there and eat ice cream on top of the roof, and, which was an absolute delight. Johnson's mother was an entrepreneur who owned a hat shop in the complex. And my mother took off like a butterfly and truly enjoyed it. We were always there. It was a way of her taking care of us. Construction of what was then called the Michigan Boulevard Garden Apartments was completed in 1929, right before the Great Depression. Rosenwald wanted to get things done. He was a businessman. Peter Askely is Julius Rosenwald's grandson and biographer. Rosenwald served as president and CEO of Sears Roebuck, and the Jewish philanthropist donated millions funding schools for black students in the South and grants for black artists. He could see the really deplorable housing conditions in which African Americans were living, and he realized that something had to be done about it. The result was a self-contained community, more than 400 apartments, stores, a daycare, a bank. There were black-owned businesses and a colorful courtyard. Rents were moderate. The building was really designed for middle-class African Americans. There were a lot of things that were offered to people that lived in that building. You were respected when you said, I live in the Rosamond. It was a wonderful world. It was a special world. But by the early 2000s, that world had crumbled. Opportunity was here. When all of that seemed to leave, then the deterioration came. Residents were forced out by a gas leak. The city was ready for demolition, but activists like Bobby Johnson stood in the way, and Alderman Pat Dowell was credited with fighting for what would become a $130 million rehab. We walked in with the concept of, we're not gonna do this project unless the end product is going to be beneficial to not only the residents, but to the community. Jim Bergman and Virginia Pace were part of the development team that brought the Rosenwald back to life. It's mixed income, mixed population, and mixed use. Willie B and Michael Elmore got to know the before and after. We used to sit out in the courtyard and watch our children while they play in there. She first lived in the Rosenwald in the 70s and moved back 
in 2016. When they were opening it back up and I came in, I looked at, I said, oh God, this is so beautiful. We have a diamond, a pearl in the midst of the community that has rose again. And so to be here and to be a part of it, it's just wonderful. Congress recently passed legislation creating a Bronzeville Black Metropolis National Heritage Area. And there's a campaign to create a multi-site national park honoring Julius Rosenwald's legacy. I think it would just really be a win for the community, a win for the building, you know, and a win for history. For many, living in the Rosenwald was a stepping stone to home ownership. And some former residents still get together for reunions. We've had so many customers come in and say, I grew up in this building. You know, wow, it's so nice to see this space here, this business here. What's well, get started for you today? Sean Michelle's is named after Yaya's late sister. You taste the ice cream, you experience it, you know? Inspired by family and faith. The spirit of excellence, spirit of love. Thank you, have a good one. In Bronzeville, Gaynor Hall, WGN News.